headline this week is vaccines for kids 5 to 11. The FDA backing Pfizer's vaccine this week, but before those kids roll up their sleeves, the CDC still needs to sign off on it. Houston's only full-time TV health reporter Haley Hernandez is joining us with a family planning to get their dose. Haley? That's right, Lauren, and actually, if the CDC moves fast, we could see it improved for emergency use as early as next week. And I spoke to a four-year-old today who says she's ready. Joseph Spinner is a cardiologist at Texas Children's. He's witnessed COVID do terrible things to some of his patients. So when he had the chance for his daughter to be involved in the Pfizer trial, he took it. Considering how safe and incredibly effective this vaccine was, we were just so excited for uh, the opportunity. Hannah will be five in two weeks. So if the vaccine is approved for her age group, she would also be able to find out whether she got the real vaccine or a placebo. Even though it's not uh, the trial, her study period won't be done. Um, they allow her to get unblinded and find Find out so that way we can go ahead and get her the vaccine just in case she got the placebo. Hannah tells me she got two shots. I saw her two times. And she's at an age where she can remember life before the pandemic. For almost two years, her parents told her to play the space game, meaning keep space from other people. But like the rest of us, they're ready to call it quits. We were honest with them. We said, you're going to go get a shot and that it will allow us to stop having to play the space game. And while she might be afraid of some things, like thunderstorms, when it came to taking the vaccine, I told her she was brave, but she was most flattered by what the doctor told her when they said she was helping people. And I'm helping all the kids stay healthy around the world. Oh, how does that make you feel? Happy because I like helping. She said she likes helping people, and Hannah is aging into that 5 to 11-year-old bracket. So what should you do if your child is aging out, as in they're 11 and about to turn 12? Well, Pfizer says that the smaller dose is still effective for teens, but you should talk to your pediatrician about what you should do for your child. For now, I'm reporting live in the Medical Center. I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.